getting started with BitTrue Futures. As well as regular trading, BitTrue supports perpetual futures trading. Futures allows you to trade contracts which magnify the value of a coin by a custom amount. This lets you increase your earnings potential several fold, but it also makes it easier to lose your assets. Only trade with funds that you are willing to lose. How to use futures. Log in to your account, then select the futures tab at the top. You'll be brought to a familiar trading screen with some extra buttons on the right. Before you start, you'll need to fund your futures account using assets from your current account. Click on the transfer icon on the right. Then enter in the amount of USDT you wish to transfer and click confirm. You've now funded your account and can start using futures. Select the pair that you'd like to trade on from the drop down on the left. Perpetual futures gives you the options of both long and short. Long means that you will make profit if the contract price goes up, while short means you will profit if the contract price goes down. You can also choose between cross and isolated modes. Cross will use all of the funds in your futures account for the margin. This includes unrealized profit on other positions that you currently hold, whereas isolated will restrict the margin to the amount you specify. Next, select the leverage you wish to use. Leverage refers to the multiple of the profit you stand to make from your contracts. It also increases the risks proportionally. Higher leverage makes it easier for your position to be liquidated. You can also select whether to make a limit or market order. Enter the number you wish to buy or select it using the slider. Check the details, in particular the margin, and then choose to buy long or short. Congratulations, you've made your first futures purchase. Now let's take a look at some of the important information shown to you. First is the mark price. This is similar to the asset price, but is the average from multiple sources. It's resistant to manipulation from malicious actors and is used in many calculations. Next is the funding rate. This is a fee that must be paid periodically to ensure correct asset prices. It's a transfer of funds that happens directly between users. Whether or not you pay this fee depends on your position. If the price of the contract is above the price of the underlying assets, then you will pay the fee on long positions. If the price of the contract is below the price of the underlying asset, you will pay the fee on short positions. At the bottom, you can see your open positions. Pay special attention to your liquidation price. If the value of your contract reaches this price, you will be partially or fully liquidated. You can also see your unrealized profits and loss. This is the amount of money you stand to gain or lose if you close your position at this time. You can close using market or limit options. There's also the option of using the Take Profit Stop Loss feature. This allows you to preset price points where your position will automatically close. These are the basics of using futures on Bitroom. Try it today at bittrue.com.